Shalakia. Um, we let these pastors dictate us to us, um, you know, uh, uh, what's going on. They let us, they, they tell us, um, like just, just, they, they, they're the ones that's, um, that's teaching the Bible to us instead of having us read for ourselves. And that's the problem with our people. We're looking for, uh, uh, uh the, 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 I guess you could say that we're looking for the, the manifestation we're looking for the, uh, the, 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 the most high to reveal the secrets to us through the Bible, but we don't even want to read it, right? We, answer, we love Christianity more than we love the Bible, and that's, and that's the problem, right? Verse 8, it says, Zion heard and was glad, all right? This is Psalm 97 and 8. I'm going to continue on. We had a little bit of an interruption, right? So as, as part two kicks off, um, you know, we're just going to go back into this. But it says, Zion heard and was glad, right? Zion heard and was glad. And the daughters of Judah rejoiced. The daughters of Judah rejoiced because thy judgments, O Yahweh, right? So they, they rejoicing, man. Look, hey, look, you almost got to be uh, happy because of these judgments. All right, let's get this. Psalm, 9, uh, Psalm 37. Psalm 37. So this is Psalm 37, all right? And let's get verse uh, do, 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 verse 28. Psalm 37 and 28. All right. For the most high love of judgment and forsaken not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Right. So the most high love judgment, man, and forsaken not his saints. So look, the saint, this is why we got to rejoice. Right. This is why Zion needs to rejoice because of the judgments. Right. Because it's, it just tells you right here that the most high love of judgment and forsaken not his saints. They are preserved forever. Hey, in order for you to be happy for the most high judgment, man, you got to be doing these laws. Because if you're not keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments, then the judgment, you might be on the, the wrong side of the most high's judgment. All right? They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. All right? So the seed of those, those wicked people, man, they're going to get cut off. All right, let's get back to Psalm 97 and 9. For thou, Yahweh, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far, far above all gods. All right? So the most high is above the whole earth, man. This whole earth is the most highest, man. Right? And you in the most high, we, you know, we exalt him, man, above all gods. All right? Let's get Psalm 95 and 3. All right? For the most high is great, is a great power. All right? And a great king above all gods. So the most high is above all gods. Yahweh, man. All right? Yahweh is above all gods. But our people still want to dab in, uh, you know, and, and honestly, man, I really think it's, um, I think it's a lot of our people are lazy. All right? They're lazy. It's better for them this to not to believe in anything than to actually believe in something and have to adhere to it. And, that, and that's sad, man. You got to put in work. You know, a lot of our people are into working hard, not taking a day off, right? Hey, do the same thing for your power, man, right? This is Exodus 18 and 11. Now I know that the Most High is greater than all gods, for in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them. And that's, hey, that goes back, that's Exodus 18 and 11, but the same thing is happening today, all right? All praises. All right, let's get, uh, uh, I'm almost done. This is Psalm 97 and 10. Ye that love the most high, right? Ye that love the most high hate evil. So look, I'm just going to be honest. The most high is telling us right here, well, you know, to hate evil, man. So this is why nobody should say God doesn't hate, right? Or God does, God loves everything and everybody, right? We hate the evil, man, right? Ye that love the most high hate evil. All right. Let's get Amos 5 and 15 real quick. All right. This is the book of Amos. Chapter 5, verse 15. Should lock you. All right. It says, hate the evil and love the good. Okay. Hate the evil, love the good, and establish judgment in the gate. 
it may be that the most high power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So this is how you this is, this is how you get that mercy, man. Right? Hate the evil, right? And love the good. All right, let's get back to Psalm 97 and 10. Ye that love the most high hate evil. So this is how you, you know, hey, it's a commandment, man, to hate evil, right? He preserveth the souls of his saints. And who are the saints? Let's get Psalm 50 and 5. Psalm 50, verse 5. It says, Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So who made a covenant with the Most High by sacrifice? Israelites, right? And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for the Most High is judge himself. Salah. Hear, O my people. Verse 7. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am the Most High, even thy power. All right. So, hey, look, that's that's clear as day right there, man. We hate the evil, man. And the saints are the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. All right. Now, we're not saying all dark skinned people are Israelites. Just like we saying we're not saying or I'm not saying all uh, people that look like white people or Caucasian are Edomites. You know, there's a lot of I Israelites that look like um you know, uh, a, a white guy, and there's a lot of uh, um, so-called Edomites that look like, um, you know, that look like uh, uh, a so-called black man, right? Let's get this real quick. Romans 9, while, you know, while I'm on this subject, let's get Romans 9 and 13, all right? It's got to be your spirit that's going to bear witness, man. It's not, this is going to be, we don't go by skin tone. We don't go by um, how you look, right? This is uh, so like Romans 8 and 16, not Romans 9 and 13. My fault. All right, let's get Rome, so like it. Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So in order to know that you're the children of God, your spirit got to bear witness with this truth, man. Okay? Your spirit got to bear witness with this truth. All right? So let's go back to Psalm 97 and 10. It says, Ye that love the Most High hate evil, Okay, he preserveth the soul of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. And that's our salvation, man. That's our salvation is to be delivered out of the hand of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? So when people be asking me, your grandma asked, my grandma asked me, whoever, right? Are you saved? And I say, not yet. <laughs> not yet, right? Because I know what salvation is, man, to be delivered from the hand of the wicked and all that hate us. All right, this is Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Most High is to hate evil, okay? The fear of the Most High is to hate the evil, man. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Hey, so the Most High hate the, that wicked stuff, man. All right? And the fear of the Most High is the beginning of, of wisdom, right? Let's get that in Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, right? So the beginning of that knowledge is the fear of Yahweh, man, right? Let's, let's further substantiate that with Sirach 1501. It says, He that feareth the Most High will do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. So knowledge and, and, and wisdom, understanding goes into the laws, man, right? That goes into the laws. All right. Let's get something else real quick. Let me see. This is what I want. All right. This is Deuteronomy 8 and 6. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Most High, thy power, to walk in his ways and to fear him. All right to walk in his ways and to fear him, right? And to keep his commandments, right? That's Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse six. All right. And let me see, did we get, did we get this one as well? I'm just gonna read it if not. Deuteronomy 13 and four. Hey, the Bible says the same thing, no matter if you read the Apocrypha, the New Testament, Old Testament, it's gonna say the same thing. Here's a classic right here. Deuteronomy 13 and four. You shall walk after the most high your power, and fear him, and he and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and you shall serve him. 
<clears throat> and cleave unto him. All right? Serve him and cleave unto the most high, man, and keep the commandments. So that, that there you have it, man. Look, there's, there you have it. Hate the evil, right? Let's see if I can find one more, one more scripture real quick. This is Sirach, right? Type Sirach 12 and 6. For the most high hate if he hateth sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Okay? So that's, hey, look, man, look. Hey, look. The most high hates those that sin. Ain't no such thing as the most high loves sinner. There's a sinner's prayer. And that's that's no, 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 no such thing. All right? You got to do the right thing, man. You got to strive to be perfect, right? That's what, what Hamashiach say. All right, let's see what my, uh, Hamashiach said. Let's get that in. Um, mm, let's get that in Shalakia. Let's get that in Matthew 5 and 48. Yeah, Matthew 5, 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Okay, so we're not supposed to just... Uh, uh, feel like, um, well, shoot, man, I, I messed up here. I messed up there, right? I'm going to just stay in sin. No, we don't do it like that, right? You got to stay in the spirit, man. You got to stay keeping these law, statutes, and commandments. You got to stay working towards perfection, right? You may fall down, right? But, but you know, you'll be able to, if you keep your eye on the prize, you'll fall down one too many times, and then you're just going to say, you know what? I'm done. I'm going to continue. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm done falling down. I'm done sinning, right? I'm really going to make a change. Okay? Acts 3 and 19. It says, uh, be ye therefore, uh, not I me, mean, not be ye therefore, shalaki. It says to repent and be ye therefore converted, right? Let's get that real quick. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Most High. So repent and then be converted. Some of our people are in this truth and, and, and some of our people are um, keeping high holy days and they keeping the Passover and they keeping the Shabbat and they doing everything, um, but they're not completely converted. You see what I'm saying? They still got baggage that they got to come from. All right. All right. Let's finish this out real quick. Um, this is uh, Psalm 97 and 11. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Okay. So we know what that light is. Again, Proverbs 6 and 23 is talking about it's talking about the law, right? And then um righteousness further substantiates it, right, with Psalm 119, 142, which is um the law is righteousness, right? And gladness for the upright in heart, right? And that heart is your mind, right? That heart, um, I believe the Hebrew word is tuab, which is your mind. So the the law is supposed to be on your mind and on your heart. You see what I'm saying? Real quick. We got to get a classic. All these are classics, man. All praises to the Most High. Um, Psalm 19 and 7. It says, the law of the Most High is perfect, converting the soul. So the, the law is, is perfect, man. And it's converting the soul. So how do you be converted? By keeping the laws. Right? The laws you do and the laws you don't do. The testimony of the Most High is sure, making wise the simple. Okay? Let's finish it up. All right. This is uh, Psalm 97 and 12. It says, Rejoice in the Most High, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. And that holiness is set apartness, right? Kodash. Okay. So we're not supposed to be one mel melting pot. We're not supposed to be one uh, happy group of people, man. We set apart. Okay. It says, rejoice in the Most High, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. All right, let's get Psalm 30 and 4. Psalm 30 and verse 4. All right, it says, sing unto the Most High, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. So, so there you go, right? We got to give thanks that we're set apart. We got to give thanks that we are Israelites, man. Every day you wake up, be thankful you're not a Moabite. Be thankful you're not a Canaanite, Hamite, right? Be thankful you're not an Edomite, man. All right? Because they're going to get put to death. All right, let's get Psalm 32 and 11. 
Be glad in the Most High and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Now, how do you be upright in heart, man? You got to keep the commandments, man. You got to keep the laws, man. That's that uprightness, all right? That's the uprightness, okay? Um, hold on. Okay, and then let's, uh, all right, let's get, um, okay. Let's also get Psalm 68 and three. That's my last one. Psalm 68 and three. All praises. All right, it says, uh, but let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before the most high. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. So, hey, look, man, you got to stay praising the most high. Hey, look, y'all supposed to be, we supposed to all have been put to death, right? We supposed to have been put to death because of what we done, because of what we failed at, because the laws will be broken. But you got to be thankful that the most high gave us that grace and mercy to get these laws um, under our belt, to understand the laws um, while we still have them, right? And, and to uh, keep these commandments to the best way we are, the best of our abilities, all right? Even though we are in a um, uh, a captivity, okay? Even though we're under captivity, we still gotta do what's, what's supposed to be done, all right? Let's prove that in Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing water, there, so that's the, the archers, right? People trying to kill us. People trying to uh, try to um, trying to uh, you know demonize us and and, and um, work iniquities. All these nations that we read in, in Psalm eighty three, right? They that are delivered from the noise of the archers and the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his village in Israel. Then shall the people of the Most High go down to the gates. All right, so there you go, man. That was Psalm 97. Hopefully that was edifying through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All right, we give all praises to the brothers out there that's pushing this truth in sincerity, the brothers that's out there on the highways and byways that's uh, contending for this faith, right? Against these heathens out there, against these devils out there that's coming to, um, you know, crucify the saints, man, right? And for the brothers that's at home, you know what I'm saying? That's uh, against the camps, right? Hey, all praises to you anyway, brother. It's okay. It's okay that, um, you know, you have a different mindset on how the word's supposed to go out. But as long as the word is going out, you may not uh, identify with a camp per se, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, we're supposed to come out here and do the work of the most high, man. Right? I got one more, man. I got one more. Speaking on that, let's get Luke 14, 23. All right? Let's get Luke chapter 14, verse 23. All right? This is Luke chapter 14, verse 23. It says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Right? So, you know, hey, somehow, some way, you got to get this word out, okay, to the to the Israelites, man. Tell them to come back to their law, statutes, and commandments to be converted, okay? And that's what this video was here to do. Hopefully, it was uh, edifying for us, for you, um, the viewer. And, um, you know, like and subscribe, like and subscribe and, um, you know, all praise to the most high, man. The power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the great and terrible power, man. Put some spec on the most high's name. Shalom.